In HitFilm, when you need to create changes over time, you will use keyframes. I'm Axel Wilkinson for HitFilm.com, and this video will teach you the basics of creating and editing keyframes in HitFilm 3 Pro. If you want to follow along, please download the project that accompanies this tutorial. As we saw in earlier tutorials, we can easily edit the value of any given property. For example, we can edit the position of a layer, and the layer will stay in that position the whole time it is visible. But, what if we want the layer to move, to change position over time? That is where keyframing comes in. Keyframing allows you to assign specific values to a property at fixed spots in time, then HitFilm will automatically handle all the work to get from one keyframed value to the next. Select the Sparks layer and open its transform controls. Make sure the playhead is on frame 0, then next to the position property, click on the gray circle. This is the keyframe toggle. When we toggle it on, the circle turns blue, and a keyframe is created on the timeline, indicated by this diamond. Move the layer to the left, and the value stored in that keyframe is updated. When the playhead is on a keyframe, and you make a change to the value, then the keyframe will be updated to contain the new value you have specified. The dot in the center of the keyframe toggle indicates that the playhead is currently positioned on a keyframe. Advance the playhead to 5 seconds, and as the playhead moves off the keyframe, the dot disappears. Now, reposition the layer to the right. A new keyframe is created, storing this new position, and once again, the dot indicates that the playhead is on a keyframe. If a property has keyframing enabled, and you edit the value on any frame that has no keyframe, a new keyframe will be created. So, we have created two keyframes, telling HitFilm that at 0 seconds the layer should be on the left, and that at 5 seconds it should be on the right. HitFilm will automatically calculate the correct position for every frame in between. Play the timeline, and the layer moves smoothly from one position to the other. Every frame uses a different position value, but we only need to assign values at the keyframes. This saves you lots of time, since you don't have to edit every single frame. There are some controls, like the layer properties, that cannot be keyframed. But the majority of controls can be, and clicking the toggle next to any property turns keyframing on and off for that property. At the top left of any composite shot timeline, we have several buttons for keyframe navigation. The left and right arrows allow you to quickly move forward and back through existing keyframes of the selected property. The center keyframe toggle button allows you to create or delete keyframes at the current playhead position. If you disable keyframing on a property that contains keyframes, all the keyframed values will be removed, and the value at the current frame will be applied to the entire clip. You can move keyframes on the timeline by dragging them, in order to adjust the timing of the animation. For example, if we want this sparks layer to move across the viewer more slowly, you can move the keyframes farther apart to slow the movement down. Moving them closer together, on the other hand, will cause the animation to go faster. You can control click on Windows or command click on the Mac to select multiple keyframes, or you can click and drag to encompass all the keyframes you want. You can then drag on any one of the selected frames to move the entire group. These keyframe basics will allow you to begin creating animation within your HitFilm composite shots. You should now be prepared to begin exploring and experimenting with HitFilm on your own. Our next tutorial will look at the export screen and the options for exporting your videos from HitFilm. I'm Axel Wilkinson from HitFilm.com, and thanks very much for watching.